Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition and this is our edition of Let's Play Mint Tin Skull Duggery. And as you can see it comes in a teeny tiny tin. It rattles with excitement and some games are just more fun when played rather than talk about. So this game comes from Subquark Games um, who make all sorts of cool tin games like this and today we're going to play it. Yay. So yeah, Brian's here with me to help me play it. You can play this solo, but I'm not interested in playing anything solo. It's way more fun to play board games with people. Um, so we'll start off by showing you what's actually in the tin. Do you see how nicely embossed it is? It's very shiny under my lights, right? And it rattles good. I like the thing that rattles good. And inside, you get... Dun, 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 dun. Uh, nice to point out, it's, my God, it's actually signed. Isn't that lovely? Um, these are handmade. So I think that's super special. There's a very shiny skullduggery coin. Ooh. <laughs> and inside we have a whole host of skulls. Oh, and dice. So we got some very beautiful clinky dice. I love that stuff. And I'm gonna tip out the skulls so you can see them. Because these are really, really cool, aren't they? Look at that. So we've got white skulls, little black skulls, and some crystal skulls. And of course everybody would love a crystal skull in their life. So we're gonna we're gonna play the game. So let, shall, shall we start? Yeah. Let's hope we don't make any mistakes. We have a tendency to make some terrible mistakes. I'm gonna put some of these back in the tin what? and we'll explain how everything works as we go along. Okay, so white skulls are worth one point, black skulls are worth five points. The first one to get to exactly 15 points wins. Yes, that's the aim of the game, to get 15 points worth of skulls. Now, how do you get 15 points worth of skulls? Well, you're gonna start by deciding on your spirit dice, right? So do you wanna roll? Roll. roll. So you roll a dice. So this is five. Oh, so we have, a, we have a special dice we put aside so you can see what number, so five. And this is the number we're gonna to wanna to roll out of three dice to get ourselves some skulls, right? Yeah. So if you roll one five, you're gonna get one skull, the little white one. Mm -hmm. If you roll two, you get three points, or is it five points? Five, five points, points. I what? totally meant that. Just checking, um, so that's a black skull. Yeah. And if you roll three, how many points do you get? 10. 10 points. That seems like a lot of points out of 15. If you, you have roll to get exactly it's 15 though. If you go over, you go bust and you get nothing. Oh, yeah, that's rough. And so as you can see, we also start with a crystal skull. Um, yeah. And this is kind of special because this one allows you to kill one of the dice. Spirit right? dice. Spirit only dice only, which so is, only means it match matches the spot. number. So yes. for instance, so say you get 10 points, I can knock that out and you only get five points. Yeah. But let's say, for instance, you only need five points to win, you can do it to your own dice roll. Yes, so if you were going over, you could improve your dice roll to get to victory. Yeah. And the last special thing that's here is this giant coin. Oh my God, come on, there it goes. So super shiny coin. So what happens, how do we get the super shiny coin in play, Brian? So we get the super shiny coin in play. If anyone rolls triples and they still have their crystal skulls, okay. this will come out on the hourglass side face up. Mm -hmm. If it, if you don't have your crystal skull, you get your crystal skull back if the triples happen. Yeah. If it happens a second time, it will flip over and everyone will pass their points to the player to the left. Dun, dun, skull duggery. Skull duggery. Something bad. Something nasty. Yes, underhandedness, which is actually you know the, the name of the game. So that that's pretty much everything. The other thing is if you roll um, a set. So if you roll one, two, and three, um, everybody who's on low points gains a point. Correct. Um, and test we get, and then if you roll a uh, four, five, or six, everybody on high points loses a point. Correct. Did I get that right? I got yeah. that right. Okay, cool. So let's so begin. I'll go first. Okay, go on. Let's see who starts. So I roll eleven. That is a large number. It's not. It's slightly above. I'll pretend. Slightly above average. I'll pretend this is like Warhammer. I need. I need five plus armor saves. No. Uh, that's eleven as well. Two of my skinks die. <laughs> so go again. Okay, go again. That's a better number. That's that probably, is an infinitely better that's number. That's a higher number. So. Yes, that's a very good number. No. No, no not quite a good number. Okay, okay, so you get to start. So, so fives. No. No, what so happens? we want fives. So you keep rolling if you roll a five. If you don't roll one, you just pass it to your opponent. So nope. still no fives. Ooh, so points. you get a point. Unless you want to use your crystal skull. To, to no, I do not want to use your crystal skull. I kind of like saving them to the end of the game where it's really desperate. Two fives. Ooh. Five point. Now you can use your crystal skull to reduce oh, the you stop point. trying to tempt me to use my crystal skull. I just do it for the benefit of the people that hold. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes. no more for you. Fair enough. No more skulls. See, the thing is, if you don't use your skull early, you have no chance to get it back. Back, yeah. Yeah, so you got to wait it out. Oh, nope. I can't roll anything today. Okay, let's see. Nope. No, that's it's a straight, fine. Not right straight. That's right. You keep an eye out the straights. I forget those. You get points. Yeah, I finally, I'm off the the starting block. Do you want? Do you, would no. you like to use your crystal skull, I sir? <laughs> <sighs> you know, Indiana Jones would use his crystal skull. <laughs> oh, he'd take it to the museum. That's where it belongs. <laughs> wow. Okay. Fair enough. And he rolls again. What? That's, that's points. That's a point. 
You really need some skullduggery to happen, Nettie. I do. Point. Oh my god. As you can see, this is a dice rolling game. <laughs> I nope. no more. Finally, put an end to this. Yes. Okay. No. Finally, we'll get we'll we'll that get back on track. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. So things can turn around quite quickly in this. I can imagine this being really, oh. really fun with more players, though. It's going to be hilarious. That's five points. Because obviously the more dice you roll... Actually, hang on now. That's just mean. No, no, no. You're awfully close to winning. I'm going to crystal skull this one. Okay. So bye-bye crystal skull. So I still get a point because... Like yes, because there's one of those left. And you, get, do you get you to keep roll? rolling? You that do. One, yeah. Not with that one, though. Not with that one. Fair enough. So now I get all the dice back. I'm crystal skull this, but... Oh, my God. You're so close to victory. Um, nope. That's it. <sighs> Dun, dun, dun. Nope. And obviously the spirit dice number changes each game. You get to reset yeah. it, so it makes the games nope. different each time. Nope. Yeah. Do do do. Nope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, oh! I oh, sorry, look at all the sixes and they're meaningless. That's a good strength stat. That one doesn't <laughs> die in child <laughs> Um, no. Nope. So the, and the other thing that comes with this game when you get it is you get a little reminder booklet. I see a little reminder sheet here for a reminder of the rules. But if you want to learn the rules, they're available on the Sub Quark website, which is both a, a bonus and a boon because it would be nice to have the rules with it, but then it wouldn't fit in the tin. Yeah. But also it's nice to be able to read the rules before you buy and they're all openly available to have a look at there. Hey, so you get a point, I lose a point. Oh, oh yes, finally the good thing happened. <laughs> Woohoo, totally meant it. <laughs> Uh, so I like to double five and win the game. No, no, I've got no crystals. Stop it. Oh my god, five. triple five. No second. And I'll use this to get rid of the skull. So I roll doubles. I get the skull. And I win. <sighs> that was awfully fast. Oh, there you go. We've had games that have definitely lasted longer than this. I yeah. just got whooped today. I couldn't roll for good. So yes, yes. Congratulations to the victor, Wanan. So that is mint tin skull jewelry. So victor goes the skulls. That's very, very true. And this is definitely the kind of game you probably want to play more than one of. I already feel like playing again just to get vengeance. <laughs> because, you know, and it's nice and quick and kind of fun. So, yeah. yeah so, th th this is this is it. So, I hope you enjoyed watching our Let's Play video. There'll be some more um, Mint Tin related videos coming soon. Because there are quite a couple in the catalogue. And I'm looking forward to trying those out. Um, and until next time, we'll be here playing games, asking questions. And trying to get ourselves some more skulls. Yep. Yeah. Skulls. All right. Taking names. <laughs> Taking names. <laughs> Um, until next time, everybody, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.